Is the monarchy dead? Well, according to Rolling Stone, it is. Because we have witnessed over these past few months some amateurish situation within the monarchy. First, they told us that Kate had an abdominal surgery. Then they start filtering out false pictures, false video, false everything and becoming a laughing stock. Then we start seeing memes, right? And based on Rolling Stone, long live the memes. Because what people are saying now is that the monarchy is having some serious issue. Of course, we know that Kate's absence from public um, life has prompted a slew of criticism from royal watchers, many of whom have used the Palace, ben Palace Benny Hills skew fumbling of the situation as a peg to discuss the irrelevance, hypocrisy, and corruption of the monarchy. Faced with a PR crisis without any real precedent and unable to silence the usually malleable British press, the palace has responded in basically the worst way possible, refusing to adopt any semblance of transparency or accountability toward the public even when the situation so clearly demands it, right? And we know there's been the Photoshop Photoshop incident. We're, we're talking manipulation of photos now. We're not even talking simply putting a, a, a filter on. We're talking about some serious manipulation. And every time you see that happen, you know there's something they're diverting our, our attention from. Something is bigger is going on in the monarchy. Something is happening that they are hiding from us. We know Charles said he has cancer. And we know that happened in conjunction with Kate going in the hospital. What are they hiding? Guys, let's not lose focus. Let's keep our eyes on the ball here. They are trying to do everything. Even the, the, the throwing out the different meats, the red meats, to say that her medical record was invaded on. Yes, Silen knew about this from one week ago. Why is it they are just putting that out just because the video came out and people are still not believing because people are not, people are seeing things that they know is not right. We know it's not Kate. So something is happening and Rolling Stone has brought out a very good article today where they're talking about the the mystery of what is going on with the monarch and do they think that people are going to just close their eyes and say nothing. One of the points of the article is saying that the central mis mystery of Kate's disappearance aside, this has been the most fascinating thing about the entire debacle. Watching the picture-perfect artifice constructed by the royal family, crumble to the ground. Having been read, after filled for unnecessarily or unsuccessfully trying to snucker the news media and the public at large, there is no longer any reason for anyone to take anything the police says seriously. Remember, we spoke to you about the credibility that Credibility gap. Nobody believe them. They are laughing stock around the world. People are beginning to believe Harry and Meghan and saying, yes, who would want to be in that family? And Rolling Stone continues. And by extension, there is no reason for us to take the royal seriously at all. Not, not even them. We're not taking the palace. We're not taking the individuals within the palace serious. Them not to be taken serious. Whatever Kate is going through and whatever true explanation for her absence may be, she deserves the respect and privacy that is afforded to any other human going through the same difficult time. But did the British press afford that same level of decency to Megan? No, they did not. They acted as if Megan was not human, but no, they're asking us to give some deference to Kate. Who is Kate? She's just like anybody else. She's a commoner. She doesn't even have the blue blood in her. So I don't see why we must give more levity or more preference to her 
than per what they put Megan through for seven full years non-stop. It was abuse. It was a bully. It was about bullying over and over. Right? So they're saying just like anybody else who is going through difficult time, we can give her the same level of respect. But that's not tantamount with representatives for the royal family outright lying to a populace they think is stupid. And I say it all the time. The royal family treat the British people as if they are stupid. They know that. They know that they are gullible. Everything they throw, they throw the red meat and they buy it. And now that they have been called out on that, there is no reason not to call them out for their very existence. And that is, this article is so profound. It is saying exactly what I've been saying for years. When you put things out in the ethos, in the atmosphere, it comes right back at you. So when you say that, take away Megan's title, that means the title means absolutely nothing. That means the monarchy means nothing. When you say um, you, 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 you treat Megan as if she's nothing, but you want people to treat Kate as, as you no, know, you're, you're forming different camps. You're putting people in different camps. And I'm telling you, you're creating a monster. And they have created a monster, but now the people are saying enough of it. We are sick and tired of the, the manipulation and the plane. They manipulate everything. They manip manipulate their photo. They manipulate the people. They manipulate the government. They manipulate um, their audience. They have absolutely no respect for, for the monarchy and for people's trust. So, guys, I am just so amazed and happy with this article. So, thank you, Rolling Stone. This is so true. We have to stop. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on your notification bell so you never miss a beat. Thank you.